Good morning. Folks were watching plasma towering over the northeastern limb. It's feeding back down into the star a bit this morning. We've got a dying coronal hole to show today. The fire in Alberta is one for the record books. We'll discuss America's Fukushima and more. We've got a little filament releasing on the departing limb yesterday as well. Nothing major. Earth-facing quiet continues dominating the sunspots. We'll go through the world of weather at the end as well, but we'll start with spaceweathernews.com, where one wonders whether we'll witness our star whip up anything worth watching anytime soon. Despite the return of a huge sunspot, it is silent, and the primary eruption threat is actually the thin dark plasma filament. It's riding through center disk territory today on the northern hemisphere. Solar flaring? Dismal as the Earth-facing quiet remembers that guy from last month doesn't want to give an inch. The sunspots otherwise are tiny, the big ones still all red negative without a magnetic flare maker among it. Solar wind? We were wondering yesterday if those density waves would cause instability. Look up in red and see an increase in energy input. However, we never actually cracked up into a global instability situation. Localized ones did exist, and the disruption on the electron flux leading to today's collapse began right after yesterday's news. You will remember the first coronal hole here swung in during geomagnetic storms. Can't expect two Earth layers to rumble at once, but now that Earth's magnetic field is calming somewhat, the ground can shake again as the second coronal hole comes in behind it. But, watch this. The height and depth, the color, of that coronal hole is fading, especially in the lead portion. Our quake maker may finally be losing power and transforming into a different structure. Thus far, we haven't seen any big quakes, but with upticks in the Eastern Pacific and OLR anomalies in Central America, I'm not willing to go to sleep on that coronal hole just yet. The other side of the Pacific sees anomalies at Japan and near that same Vanuatu area. Folks, we are up to 33 people hospitalized by radiation and related fumes at the Hanford facility in Washington. While we do not yet have a full-scale environmental release, the containments have failed, they are decades old, and we've pretty much crossed a line where it becomes a major disaster. The world just hasn't realized it yet. Folks, this is Fort McMurray Airport in Alberta. Think the fire made it there? Yeah. Alberta is seeing one of the worst disasters in its history, with more than 1,600 buildings destroyed, including hundreds of homes. Hopefully the cooler temps today will help out the firefighters. Folks, we had a new deeper look posted yesterday. That one will eventually be made public, but if you are at all behind, I'm feeling a little lead foot syndrome coming on next week, so catch up with the members' material before we start accelerating our examinations. Lighter day in the U.S. today, but the dangerous weather returns over the weekend. We're going to hit Europe, down under, and South America before going to shots of our star to close. It's 3.40 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.